Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and welcome to another episode of Turtle's Lab. And recently, as we received all those fixes to explosive damage, to energy damage calculations and so on, plus on top of everything, we are getting modifications for Hellstorm Missile Launcher with Minerva. You probably already bought it, it's Minerva left or leaving. And question is, is Hellstorm Missile Launcher better now, especially compared to regular Missile Launcher? That is a regular Missile Launcher and I already did a guide for a Hellstorm Missile Launcher, but I will give you a quick recap. Regular Missile Launcher, biggest advantages, you can equip it with targeting computer and of course two shot is still the best legendary effect for launchers then i'm using two shot launchers it's using missile launchers of course fire rate of 10 it's one missile per one tap on a trigger comparing that to the hellstorm missile launcher it does depend on modification it can hold more and has slightly higher fire rate but there is no option for targeting computer no such option which is a big downside on top of that you can notice lower damage in a pip boy and what's very important here to mention hellstorm missile launcher requires heavy gunner perk to achieve this damage without those the damage will drop even farther while regular missile launcher only uses Demolition Expert. Hellstorm Missile Launcher uses both to achieve slightly lower damage with both. If you exclude Heavy Gunner perks, damage will drop even farther. The advantage of Hellstorm Missile Launcher are those specific modes like Plasma Payload, like Napalm Payload and Cryo Payload. Are those worth it? Like the damage if you split it drops tremendously. At least here on the weapon card. I don't know how in practice, that's what we are going to test. Is it any better now? And we'll be starting from the classic. With the best paint in my opinion. Atom Scat paint. And classic missile launcher targeting computer equipped. 911. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, 911 damage. That's what I mean. That's not, that's not a code for anything here. It's, this is just the damage. All right, West Tech Research Center. All right, what targeting computer does, I aim, you can hear the click, then I just fire up. And missile hits down. This is a huge advantage. The other missile launcher does not have. I don't need to aim up, but then can actually hit obstacles. If there is no obstacle on the way, that's fine. If there is, I fire up and increase my chance of killing those super mutants. Are those all level 50 because they're dying so easily? What is the... No, they level 75. They just die per shot. Okay, that... We have that established. They die per shot. Now, we are trying the Hellstorm with Enhanced Blast Payload. Uh, let's see. Oh, he made it. Okay, that's a bad start. Okay, let's start, try up close. Let's make sure that's a direct hit. Okay. He made it through the direct hit. Okay, what's the difference if I just shoot underneath those super mutants? They made it with a little bit more health. Okay, that's not very good. All right, let's see. Plasma payload. Finish this one off. This one full health yet. Yeah. Can plasma payload take him down? Yes. Okay. Pa plasma payload is better. It's taking them down. Which is good. Oh, I think what I forgot is. Yeah, I didn't equip grenadier. But that's not very important for this test. We'll equip it later. First, let's figure out the damage. Okay. Level 75 super mutant. If I shoot underneath. He survives. He survives if I shoot underneath. Okay, let me swap back to the regular. And if I shoot underneath, 
he survives too. Okay, that's across all the launchers, it seems now. The direct hit is better. If you just shoot under the legs, it's not enough damage. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, it's not enough damage. After explosive fixes, it's different than it used to be. As it used to be the best when you shoot under the legs. Now it's the best if you hit directly. It's more damage. Okay, that's something new I just figured out. Then to fully assess the damage, we need to keep hitting directly with all those modifications. Back to the Hellstorm, this this one, the fiery one. And don't worry about my health dropping. My damage is not affected. I decided to go without adrenal reaction for ease of testing. No adrenal reaction mutation. And okay, Dogos, that's not really big deal. Okay, level 75 super mutant direct hit he survived you can see a little bit of the fire damage it's visible okay then there is something last for quite a bit okay it's quite long lasting fire damage i don't think it was working before now it's definitely working okay the fire damage definitely works it's not as much as we would like it to be as even with this dot it's not enough to kill level 75 super mutant. Okay, how is the cryo? Oh, that's level 100. He would certainly survive. Okay, direct hit. That's not a direct hit, that's a total miss. That was a hit. It's very blinding for the user. Where is he? Oh yeah, he made it, of course he made it. He made it. Let's kill him. Oh, I didn't hit myself somehow. That's fine. I freeze myself, I didn't took much damage, okay. Let's see if there is a difference in VATS. Okay, VATS hit. I wanted VATS hit, not the VATS miss. Please game. Uh, I need to un unequip this dodgy. I have no AP. Okay, let's try the VATS hit. No difference, okay, it's, it's fixed for everything. If you go for the VATS hits or non-VATS hits, it's the same damage. It's no longer extra damage with VATS. I will maybe try one more time. If I can find one more super mutant, you go away. One more super mutant. Oh, come on. Go away, dogs. I, you are not part of the testing. Okay, the VATS up close. No, not better than regular hit. Then we have that established. Now I will equip Grenadier. Okay, Grenadier is now equipped. Let's see how big Visually Blast will be. Cryo. Yeah, it's solid. Now it's solid area of radius for those explosions. And regular good or lasting missile launcher. Yeah, that's about the same. Visually, it's about the same. Okay, let's go for a Scorch Beast test. Scorch Beast test. That's the important one. And first, we have legendary Scorch Beast, and we try to use targeting computer or her. Oh, why? Oh, okay, something was bugged. I couldn't aim, but after firing once, I can again. Okay, let's let's try it. Okay. Hit her four times. That was enough to mutate her. Okay. Let's try Hullstorm. Regular one. How I will hit her? Like, okay. I I will try to be fair. Manually aim first. What are the chances? What are the chances that I will hit something? It's like zero. Okay, you cannot use manual aiming while targeting computer was working just fine. Manual aiming, no. Okay, now the VATS. The VATS will hit, but look at the damage. That was two Messiah. Barely any, okay. Uh, let's use the strongest one, that's plasma payload. Let's try the plasma payload. Can I get something done with a plasma payload? That was several hits for barely any damage. Okay, can I at least wipe out those guys? Not with one shot. 
two shots. Okay, it's like Halstorm seems to be super weak. Oh, she's on the ground. Okay. Let's try to shoot her now. One shot, direct hit. Okay. Hellcat. I mean, that atom, atoms, atoms paint, regular missile launcher, single hit. It's more. It is more damage. It is more damage. Oh, look at this epic fight. Bramin versus Scorch Beast. Come on. Oh. That wasn't as epic fight as expected. Let's finish the score. Let's, let's see this targeting computer in action again. Oh, it is actually automatic. Oh, I didn't realize that, but now I was I was wrong. Yeah, if targeting computer missile launcher is actually automatic, I can hold the trigger. Okay, let me see again. Uh, let's do the fire test like in the air. Uh, let's reload. How long it will take? Firing. Yeah, I can hold the trigger. That's the fire rate for regular missile launcher. Comparing that to enhanced pilot. Let's get rid of this guy. Now, comparing that to enhanced pilot on the Hellstorm. It is faster, but. I'm not sure in case of missile launchers firing faster it's such a huge benefit as missiles are expensive and heavy. Okay, if something like plasma payload. Yeah, it's the same fire rate. Like visuals are nice, those are green. Then those are fiery ones. Okay, let's fire four clip. Yeah, those look cool. And lastly, the cryo. Yeah. Unfortunately, I would like to have a better news. Like targeting computer or regular missile launcher outclass Hellstorm greatly and have no downside like equipping all the heavy gunner perks. You don't need heavy gunner perks for that. It's so much better. I'm sorry to bring this news. I was really hoping that all those improvements to explosions and energy damage will benefit Hellstorm missile launcher greatly. It is not. Regular missile launcher is much better. It's dominating the battlefield and doesn't require heavy gunners unless they change it. Let me quickly confirm that. Double check. Unequipping the heavy gunner perk. All heavy gunner perks unequipped. Hellist Atom Cats regular missile launcher. The same damage output. At the same time. Hellstorm cut by half by unequipping those perks. To laughable amount of damage. Yeah. Hellstorm is definitely not a dangerous missile launcher. The regular rusty one is. Okay, that's everything for this video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.